the green beast dump trailer. It's a secondhand trailer. Every trailer on the lot was black. This one was discounted. All right, basic overview of the trailer is that it's heavy as heck. Whole thing is steel, no wood floor like my other trailer. Dual axle, and these guys have brakes. I had to put in the seven way powder coated tough. Stronger, greener, and better. But you know, right here by the powder tough coat, we got the little bit of rust going on. So I can give you a look at the guts of the dumper. The controller is right here, missing a magnet. It's also been kind of like busted on the corner here. So maybe I'll tune that up a little bit. But uh, pretty straightforward to uh, raise the bed, just hit the up button. Good to go. You know, you could put your stock on the inside or the outside, but I just figure if it's on the inside, there's less chance of stuff catching up against it. I know it reduces my space just a little bit, you know, by three inches in total by having it on the inside, but it just seems to me like a better idea. All right, so uh, these guys are bolted on. I put the nuts on this side and the flat on this side just because I figured I'd be walking around the trailer. Might be able to hit on this. I have a feeling like it's gonna be a pain in the butt to throw things into the trailer from the sides with those guys, but it increases the overall static volume and they're removable. So I can pull those guys out and flop them in the trailer or put them over the side if I want to maybe just pull out one on one side. So we'll see how it goes. So the trailer came with these uh, tie rings here, hitching points, which work pretty well if you've got like a cargo strap and you're pulling it on the other side and you've got like some tension on it. But I found the minute I hook my cargo strap on here, I run to the other side and it's fallen off. So working alone, it's kind of tough. I, I welded some rings on my other trailer and those work pretty well. They're just like a closed ring, but the thing about those is that you gotta run your rope all the way through them. So I ended up with this compromise. These were like 89 cents over at Menards. I'll attach these to the sides and it will allow me to uh, squeeze the rope through here or run it through and I think it'll stay in place given the size of that gap. All right, now I found this stuff at Walmart, uh, fluorescent Rust-Oleum. It kind of looks like it matches, but uh, this trailer's not like a beauty contest kind of situation. Oh. <laughs> That's such a bad match. All right, that is a bad match. That is so wrong. It's not that I don't want to carry a spare. It's just that this dude is toast. Uh, doesn't hold air. It's off my old truck and I think it needs the rim painted black to match these guys. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. Anyway, so I need a new tire on this guy. That thing's ancient. I also need some kind of locking bracket on here. I gotta see what people use. I had it bolted directly and it was kind of crooked. I think it needs to lay flat and then have this bracket made with a padlock on here. So that's something from my list. All right, so this is kind of a cool system on this trailer. Uh, you've got like this emergency brake connector here. So basically if the trailer falls off the vehicle as has happened to me before, it's kind of fun. Uh, this guy will get yanked and activate the brakes, full on. Uh, but this uh, cable has been tied, and uh, just to shorten it up, it was just too long. And in that case, it has a chance to like hook on something, 
and never actually work if you pull it. So I gotta take the slack out of this cable. It'll be right there. In the middle of making those mods and changes and tweaks and stuff I just had to get this thing to work and I've been using it for months now you can see right now it's even full of all kinds of sawdust and stuff I backed into a telephone pole and then this kind of stuff is really bugging me I mean this trailer is just a couple years old and it's already got just a little bit of rust and up here a lot of bit of rust you know if you fabricated stuff with steel You've seen this kind of thing before. Basically, they just didn't prep the metal well enough before painting, so you got adhesion issues. So I'm just gonna hit it with a kind of uh, jungle green, it's called. That is a match, man, that is like, Original stuff. This dude Oliver, he actually busted out a bunch of vinyl lettering and signs. So I'm gonna put those guys on my tree truck and on the trailer. Since the trailer has been a very good trailer, you know, dependable, reliable, kind of like a money maker, I decided to get the trailer a present. We got a farm jack in hideous trailer green. Uh, jungle green farm jack is intact, uh, bolted here and here, kind of balanced. I've got a strap on the handle so it doesn't jiggle wiggle. And if you haven't used one of these guys, you know, best for jacking, raising stuff up, but you can also use them as a clamp, clamp between these two, and you can use them kind of like a come along. And then up front here is where I've been stashing my shovel, just kind of wedged in here and then uh, bungeed on top. Seems to hold pretty well. I also run with a trash can most days in the back. That's also strapped on. Dang, I really gotta do this floor. I think I'll do a uh, bed liner, you know, like in the summer when it's warm, really strip this thing out and put a bed liner in it. See if that works a little bit. All right, evidence of hitting the telephone pole is uh, pretty much, well, it's not gone, but it's, it's, it's diminished. 
and I still haven't done the spare tire. All right, that's it for this introduction, overview, modification, Fandango of the Green Beast dump trailer. It's a really good trailer. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect. It's got some hiccups and issues and stuff like the rust, but it's a good trailer. It gets the job done, which is what I like about it. All right, now, there are a lot of how-to videos on the YouTube. You know, how to do this, how to do that. This isn't really technically a how-to video. It's just a story about how I did it, and I appreciate you checking it out.